What's going on guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own texture pack. Now this is not actually one I've made, it's made by John Smith Legacy, but I'm going to actually be able to show you how to make your own one. Okay, let's start. First you're going to want to press Windows R, percent app data percent, go to dot Minecraft versions and then the latest version. I'm just going to do 1.19.2 here. Then you want to copy the jar and then paste it onto your thing folder. So then you want to rename it and put dot .zip at the end. If that doesn't work, go into File Explorer, press View, and then hide file name extensions, and then you can should be able to rename it. Okay. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to right click and press Extract All, and then we're just going to extract it. And then this is going to take a bit of a while, so I'll see you after it's done. Okay, as you can see, it is nearly finishing. It's just finishing up. All right, it's done right here. Okay, so it might have opened for you. It might have not. If it didn't, then you can just open it on your desktop. But I've got it right here. Then we don't need all of this stuff. So you can click on the first one and then go to the bottom. Press Shift. And then you can just delete all of those. And that's going to take some time as well. But the files are so small, so it should be quite quick. Okay, it's just about finished. Okay, now you want to go into Assets, Minecraft, and then Textures, alright? And we've got all this stuff here. So we've got blocks, all these different stuff right here. Uh, if you, you can also see, you can also change like the fonts, like the credits right here. So yeah, we've got all this stuff. So the, I'm just so going to textures basically, and it's mostly in blocks, and you can change all the stuff here. So you can just search in the block, whatever block you want. So I'm going to do grass. And then let's just get grass block. So you want to now open up an editor to do it. So you could do paint, you could do photo P, which is a, a copy of Photoshop or GIMP, but I'm just gonna do Photoshop. So that's gonna load up. So we can search grass here, in the top right, right click. Now we can just drag it on just like so, and let's just there here we've got it okay so now we can just edit this wild so i'm gonna do choose black then we can just export that put it in your downloads or somewhere uh now i'm gonna try another block maybe and then let's just change that to red okay now we can export that and you need to do the exact name so it's, let's do blue underscore concrete so it's exact so to switch stuff around let's say we want bedrock as you know we want so we get bedrock and then we drag it on and now we've got bedrock uh, we can then we want to export it but then we want to name it the uh, the item we want it to replace so like red stained glass Okay, I'm going to pull up 1.19 and download. So now I can start dragging this on. So let's start by getting red glass. So we've got red stained glass here. Then you want to right click and delete it. Now it's still going to stay there. Uh, but it, will, it won't actually physically be there and it's already gone, it might take a bit of time. Then you want to click off that because you're not allowed to drag files in when you're searching. So let, now we can drag this on. Let's also do grass block slide, let's just replace the file. Um, I've also got blue concrete, we can drag that on, replace it. Then if you search for your certain block, like concrete, we see it's blue concrete right there. 
which is actually red. Okay, so I've now uh, changed tons of files. You might have done it in Photopea or GIMP or whatever. Uh, now we want to open up the folder again. All right. Then we want to make a right click, press new text document. Then we're going to leave that. Uh, and then we're going to click, double click on it, open it, file, save as, and then we're now going to call this pack.mc meta. Now we're just going to save that. Then we can delete this. Now you, you're going to want to install Atom, which can help you like format the text that will be in the description of the video that you're going to have to put in here. So make sure you uh, you've got Atom installed and then you can right click and click open with and then choose Atom. Then you want to copy and paste the text that you see on screen now, it will be in the description. And this is where you get to name your pack, so I'm going to call it uh, Red, right? Let's close that, save it. So I want to go in and delete all of these four folders as well, so it's just going to do that as well. Okay. Now you want to select both, drag it onto the desktop, and now it's just going to move that. Just wait. Right, now we've got these two on our desktop. All we want to do is right click, uh, send to compress zip folder, and now it's going to compress. Now you may be like, bro, it's still there, but no, if you look to the side, I'm just going to call this one bread. Alrighty. Then we can start loading up Minecraft while we open I can go to dot Minecraft resource packs using Windows R and then whatever and then just drag it on. And now I have to wait for Minecraft. Now we can go to options resource packs and there's bread. Guys I don't actually like bread at all but it's whatever. And so what we can do now is we can set up a beacon as you do put a bedrock on top right here oh and it's turned red because it's red stained glass hope that helps but i'm ags and i'm signing out